Uh, I don't know, I might put this in here, but this is the, this is the YouTube life. This is the YouTube life. Woo! Slide it back. Oh, it slides back manually. Yeah. Got it. Let's see what we got. Let's see the, the fat guy fit in test. Like oh, wow, it's e way easier than my car to get in here. Wow. It feels like I'm in a... Yeah, it's like a manual car. Yeah. It's like a manual car. And this is one of the fastest shifting gearboxes that you're gonna feel. Get a little closer. Yeah. Raise the stables. Yeah. Where we at? Oh. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Let me get, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yo, it feels like a manual, bro. Yeah. Look. Yeah, yeah. So they short shift the hell out of it. They short shift the yeah, hell out of it. Yeah, I figured. Because by six, by six thousand RPMs, it'll, the, especially with the exhaust, it's gonna sound real loud, and you're gonna think it's ready to shift. But remember to push it all the way to nine. That's what gotcha. you really because the power band in this car is like from like like six hundred to. Oh goddamn! How fast that shift was. Yeah. It sounds like a stock exhaust, and then above four grand, it's like you modified the right. exhaust as you move it. That's what it sounds like. Right. Put this in regular automatic mode, you, you, you turn the valve off. Yo, big ass wing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even see out the. <laughs> we, we, we're not low, right? We're not that low. Nah, okay. not that low. This is factory height. Woo! Yo, this thing drives good, bro. For that, I don't got the balls, bro. Yeah, you can feel the feedback in the wheel is like so. Oh my god, it's a track weapon, man. This is a track car with a license plate on it. That's what I told yeah. you. Oh, shit. <laughs> You could be one of those guys now. You, you ever you can like, do that while moving too? Wait, really? Like when you was punching it back there, as soon as you hold the paddles, no matter what gear you're in, you can rev it and let it go. And it you know what I like it. about that? It lets you be a douche, like real, like Absolutely. like a, like a dickhead. Because you know those guys that at the car meet, they go whoa, whoa, and then they gotta stop to put it in drive. <laughs> right, right. You know right. what I mean? It's like ah, this, 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 you're good. This car is non-invasive of you driving it. Like even the traction control doesn't kick in. Like you can launch the car, the traction control really doesn't interfere. Oh. Yo, those little, that little pops, I don't know what's straight, I'm making a U. Yeah, you can make a U, or go around. around. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you when you snap gears at high RPMs, you hear it. I hear yeah. this, like, I hear that. That's the gearbox, dude, that's the <laughs> exhaust. And I'm telling you, when you outside the car, that's the, yo, it sounds like somebody banging a chair against a wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love about this, though? Yeah. It feels like you're on coilovers. It feels like you don't have any yeah. power steering. It feels like, yeah. you know what I'm just saying? Like, yeah. oh. Yeah, I'm 10, I'm, 10, I'm 10 steps ahead of you, man. I'm Yo, <laughs> I'm, go, I'm supposed to be going to Cabo tomorrow, bro. Right. I'm, I'm about to see if I get my money back. You're going to be dreaming about this. <laughs> I'm going to be like this. You see, if, if I don't go on vacation, maybe I could have one. Oh, I think that, no, that's, I thought that was, uh, I thought that was uh, Dylan. You're going to you're gonna go home and Google, how can I afford <laughs> I, I was in the same place, man. I started driving them. So what are these range in the 160s or the, the So right now the market kind of stabilizes, so it's like, Higher mileage one, like mine is low mileage. Mm -hmm. So so I would probably say like 140, 150 my range right now. And, and brand new, this was 160 something. Brand new, like my sticker was 153. I have the sticker. And so this is 2015 same, and it's still the same price. Eight, almost eight years old is the same price that you pay for it brand new. And if anything, probably gonna be, it's gonna be more yeah. years from now. So my God. 993, the sticker on that car, brand new was like $45,000. And now it's like a hundred plus thousand dollar car. Bro. And that's a 20, what, 28 year old car? Yeah. It's crazy, man. Make 
Make sure, make sure you bring it to nine. Nine? Yeah. Bring it all the way to nine. I'll try. <laughs> just look with just. Yeah. I, I couldn't do it. You feel it? Yeah, yeah, I felt it though. That's where the power band is. The top, the uh, traction control light came on a little bit, yeah. but it's but it's, it's not invasive. It's not invasive. Like, no. like even on my car, bro, it's not invasive. People say when you track these cars and you, you leave the traction control on, you're good. You're good. And if it doesn't really come on, that's when you're not pushing the car hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like me the first time. The traction light never came on. Right. <laughs> I understand. This is all motor. Yeah. I think car weighs 3,100. Bring it out, bring it out. The motor costs more than my car. The motor costs more than my car. But listen, the motor is reliable. Yeah, I know, but that's not mine. I know, it's not <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is what Porsche wants you to do. This is what they built the car for. Yo! Like they what the car. fuck? Why you breaking helps a lot. Yo, yeah. the, the, the carbon ceramic brakes are cool. They're consistent. They're consistent. And no brake dust. Mm -hmm. No brake dust, no, no brake fade, nothing. Bro. Yo, nah, you, you, you got a machine. And you, this is just a muffler. That's not even a full exhaust. Yo, you, you, you have a machine in here, bro. This is. This is what dreams are made of, man. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Wow. Listen, man. You live one life, boy. And get yourself a GT. Bro. <laughs> even <laughs> looking. Yo, looking at the rear view, just seeing the wing as you yeah. hit the paddle shifter, bro. It's like yeah. it's an experience, yo. 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 Wow. I ain't gonna lie though. I, I would love to even cruise in this shit yo. and like just go through the gears, like, dude. Like if you put it in automatic, like if I put it in regular automatic, you don't shift it. Uh huh. And I take off PDK Sport. Now, now you gotta have your girl in here. Oh no, nah, she gonna she gonna be in here anyway. We gonna have the conversation. Yeah. We, we gonna be yelling at each other. Even the steering is so direct. I'm, this feels like the whole car just turned with it, like a little bit. When you truly experience it, it's like it's either on track or even on the highway when you're doing like cuts through like you know around cars. Yeah. You should see. I just just little adjustments and the car goes where I want it to go. This is just like. You know what it feels like? It feels like when you turn the wheel, it picks the whole car up and just turns it. Like it just, it feels like everything moves like one. Imagine the new one with the double yeah. wishbone up front. God. They say this is like a butcher knife and the new one is a surgical knife. Get you know? the hell out of here. Like I'm this, just like, yo, just like cruising. Yeah. Paddle. Y'all yeah, <laughs> can see myself now pulling up the car he's like this. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. yeah, and they think it's manual. <laughs> Building cars for a long time, God, yeah. And eventually, like that was the first Porsche that I owned was a yeah. 993. But what plan was to do a RWB build on that? Yeah. God, we, we talking about a nice chunk of change. So if you, if, if I don't know, if guys, you know, you might have some viewers that probably watch my channel. Yeah. But I was tracking the whole build as far as like I got the kit, I did everything, wheels. Um, I fully like I went crazy on the car, full interior, full suspension, everything. And it was because of COVID. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. You know, we had to yeah, wait because yeah. the car couldn't fly yeah. out and everything like that. So honestly, like, I, a part of me kind of got a little impatient. And um, I don't know, I just kind of threw it out there that I wanted to sell the car. Yeah. Just to see what was out there. But I wasn't certain, you know. And then I got a crazy offer. <laughs> and it's got to go. Got to go. This was one of my other dream cars. Got to go. This was one. This was one. <laughs> and now I got, you know, aside from this, I got the 992 GTS coming On the way. In. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then now this talks that, you know, we working out. Possibly getting the new GT3 Ooh, at some point. Yeah, yeah that's sir, what. Yes, so everything worked out. Yeah. It was like I don't know. The Porsche guy's been blessing me, yo. 
<laughs> so wait, what, what, what you had all the, before all the Porsches? So before I had, y'all was a BMW cat before, <laughs> JDM cat. So originally I was a JDM dude, full Nissan. I, I had like Infinities, Nissans. Um, and then when I really crossed over to the German side, the Euro side, it was straight BMW. Yeah. So I had a couple of E30s, I had a couple of E46s. Um, M3s. Yeah. I had um, a, a, a M6 wide body that I was building. Some people might know oh, about that. Oh, 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 I see that. Yeah, the, the purple one. Yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. Metallic. It was yeah. it was sitting at your piano for a minute. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. was a whole big thing about that, and I had to kind of abandon that. And when I abandoned it, that's when I went to the RWB, man. Okay. But even from that, like, I did, like, man, I had M5s, M6s, M3s. I love BMW. Yeah. But then it's always like, and you're going to get to that point where you got to transition to something else. Yo, you know, it's so. crazy. I really want you to drive this car because yeah. it, it helped me prolong the transition. Before I was like, I got to get into them. But after owning this for a little bit, yeah. Honestly, bro, it, it dry. It's, it's, I tell, it's you, good. You know what it is, in my opinion? BMWs are amazing. Like, I think BMWs, Benzes are amazing. Yeah. But there's at some point where you feel like you got to, like. You're at the ceiling. You, yeah. You're at the ceiling. You're at the ceiling. And I. I yeah. This is one of the ceiling cars. Don't get me wrong, the M5, the M6, and yeah. all of those M's are badass. The trucks too. But this is the ceiling <laughs> until you get the Porsche. Because I don't think the new M5s drive like this. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right, I mean, right. the, no, they're good, right. don't get me wrong. You're right. But as far as like, this, this is the ceiling experience. and it's Porsche. Yeah. Don't turn it back. Remember <laughs> what I tell you? Did you go Porsche or you drive one of these? It's no coming you're back. Hooked. You're hooked. God, I, I drew yeah. a few Porsches now. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, man. don't get me wrong. This is the best yeah. bank for buck. Yeah. Price wise yeah, price and price wise. Yeah, wise. Best bang for buck, but longevity wise, that's the thing that's is. Where that, here's yeah. the thing, and I hope this car is like this. I, yeah. My goal is to get in this car, beat the living shit out of it, <laughs> and hopefully it's as consistent as the Porsches because you can get in these cars every day and drive like you're crazy. You can go I decided to park my car that way <laughs> so I, I, I can give it its glory and at right, the same right. time kind of compare it. Right. The attention I get from this car mm -hmm. is insane. Like people stop, pull out yeah. cameras, whatever. And they'll think it's a brand new car because most people who don't even know cars, they know what a GC3 is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Because I get that for this one too. Not right. not not on the same level. Right, right. Let's, right. let's be real. But they don't know what it is, non-car people, but they know it's the race version right. of it. Right. Like they don't know what this is, but they know that this is yeah. this is the race version of whatever the fuck is this is the souped up one. Yeah. That and this is the inside. I mean, I don't know if this you is, see the inside yeah, of this, this one. Is this is gorgeous, man. Yeah. This I like it. The carbon seats. They cool. A lot of people, you know, complain about them, but I don't think a lot of people been in them. Nah, that's it. But this is all, bro. This is what you're paying for, right? Here. <laughs> it feels good, but this that's what it's you're paying for. Car. Yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful car. It's a beautiful car. For what it is, for 80 some grand. It's now, a, the, you're a supercar territory for 80 grand. For 80 some grand. Now, right. the downside about this, I will say, though, is the price is going up. Like the GTRs back in the day. Right. You know, now these are, I, I built the same one just yesterday, and it's 86 grand. Wow. Same as I expect. And I had this car less than a year. Wow. So in less than a year, it, it shot up from 82 to 86. And that's if you're getting yeah. it for MSRP. Yeah. I bought mine for MSRP, so. Which is, which is great. And I think this work, I think that helps me with the value. I'm not expecting this car to do great in value like the GT3s, but being that the next model year is more money and that people are still paying over MSRP for them, then it'll help with the trade-in. Yeah, yeah, I think, like you said, because people are paying over MSRP, yeah. it's definitely gonna help. Um, but I, I don't even, honestly, I was trying to do that YouTube strategic shit where I can, <laughs> you know, drive the car for free and then trade it, you know, do my little thing, make my little, cause you know how YouTube goes, the views are like this and then they go like this. You gotta right, get in and out of right. these cars fast. Right. But I wanna hold on to this a little bit longer. I mean, I, these cars, the other thing too, is that there's a lot of mod potential yeah. for these cars. So, you know, you still, have, I don't know what you did as far as mod wise, but power wise and stuff, you still got a long way to go. Yeah, a long, long way to go. You see Rick? Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Breaking records with I that, drove one so. of the all-wheel drive ones, bro. No, yeah. no joke. Engine is in the back, bro. Yeah. That 
downshift. Every time when I get next to somebody, I hit that downshift, man. You know what it is? Cause it sounds like it sounds like a symphony. Like it, it don't even sound like an engine after a while. <laughs> it just sounds like right, right. like cause you know you can hear like like especially in my car like the yeah. and this you just hear like like a nice fine sound. You know. I'm gonna tell you something. When you when you were in my car, you're gonna see what I mean by it. It does. It, it don't have no soul like this has. You know what I mean? That my car is direct. It drives really good. It's just something about this car that's just insane. I, I'll tell you what it is. Right? Where I think BMW went wrong is that they wanna please to the everybody. Side. Yeah. They wanna please to everybody. But check out his channel. I'm gonna put the link down below, and I'm, I'm gonna put the link in in the video too because. You know, you're gonna get his impressions on my car. I, Absolutely. I, I try and I never can make a review of my own car you because you it's like I, I'm used it's to biased. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's super it's biased. biased. So check out, check it out. He gonna make it, it's just gonna come out soon. I don't know when it's gonna come out, but he gonna give you his thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, we gonna go for a drive. Well, we